G'day guys, and welcome to G-Man Speaks. Today, we're taking a look at a video by Marnie, your personal wing girl, your favorite female dating coach. And I've put the link to the original video in the description. So the, uh, the video today is called Five Massive Secrets Girls Hide From Men. Warning, they may piss you off. So without further ado, we'll get started. Let's have a laugh at it. There are some important things about beautiful single ladies that guys do not know about, and they have no way to find them out either because girls do a pretty good job at keeping these things a yeah. secret. But today, I'm pulling back the curtains and giving you the five biggest secrets that almost all attractive girls hide from men. And once you know these secrets, your views about attracting and dating hot women are going to change completely. You'll realize that it's actually quite simple to attract these super gorgeous girls. And oh, yeah, right. Okay, but anyway, I always say this to you guys. If I was a dating coach, my dating coach services would be called Monster Hunting Propriety Limited because what a lot of guys do in their life and why they waste so much time is by chasing women that are hot chicks. Like They're a waste of absolute time, boys. Like you got to go for the girls that are either probably one or two points below you, if you're that way inclined, because they're just happy to be there. You don't want to chase these hot, sexy, beautiful, attractive women that every guy is going for. It's a fool's errand, I can tell you that much. And on Marnie, I know I had a, I did another video recently and we had Marnie on, and a few of you guys were like, oh, Marnie, you know, she's a grifter and all that. Yeah, probably, but at the end of the day, you guys would not, say no to put Marnie in the back of the VN behind the Cricket Pavilion. You would. I'll be there. I'll do it. So, Marnie, if you're listening, we're going down to Cricket Club. <laughs> and the game might actually be in your favor. So pay close attention, listen carefully, and watch till the end. You're about to find out what 99% of guys will never know about us women. I'm Marnie, and from here on out, I am going to be your very own personal wing girl. And each week, I'm going to give you the no BS insider yeah, information about what women really want. Plus, instantly effective methods to win over any girl you like. So hit that subscribe button now so you never miss a video. Uh, how grifty is that? But you know what, guys? I'm looking at her subscriber count. 1.31 million subscribers. So good on her. Hey, you guys are watching her. And once you finish watching this video, if you're thinking, I'd like to know more about how to attract women, then go check out my website, winggirlmethod.com. Sell, 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 where I sell, have sell, a ton eh? of more resources available to you. All right, let's get into it. Secret number one, we act bitchy to filter out guys. If you've ever talked to a really gorgeous woman, you might have noticed that they don't respond well initially. They act kind of cold and disinterested and even... Bitchy. When most guys experience this kind of behavior from women, they react in one of two ways. Either they get sad and start to feel that they're not good enough to date beautiful women, which is not true, or they get angry and start to think that all good looking women are full of themselves and biatches. They're bitchy, they're superficial, and other stuff like that. But, but he that is not true, because this is a secret. Women are bitches, because I don't want you to talk to them. Wow, that is groundbreaking. Okay. And then they say, so once again, but no, but you can date these bitchy, beautiful women. Why the hell would you want to in the first place? Here's what you need to understand. All beautiful women get approached by tons of guys every day, every week, every month. So first of all, it's impossible for the girl to date and sleep with every single one of these guys. <laughs> and secondly, many of these guys could potentially be creeps or perverts or guys who are putting on a fake persona just to gain their attraction. No girl- Steve-o, she knows all about that. She's been steve would before. ...can tell much about a guy's true character in those first few minutes of an interaction. That's why we are forced to use filters to select the right guy for us. So let me just elaborate on this. Most of the time when we meet a guy, we tend to act a bit cold and disinterested to check your confidence, strength of character, and if you're being authentic or not. It's like a process of elimination. We want to get an idea of the type of man you are and we want to see how you handle pressure. If you- cr How about, fuck that. I'm not putting up with any of that shit. So, I don't know why they do this. Like, a lot of guys are not gonna to want to put up with someone who puts them through a test straight off the bat. 
So while they're saying it's a process of elimination, they're probably eliminating people who are really good people. <laughs> well, I, I can't. I'm not an adding coach, guys. I'm just telling you, I've been out, monster hunted. I never really put up with too much of this because, as I said, I never went for these really super over the top, you know, mega babes that, as she said, got guys chasing them 24/7. Uh, even the fat midgets on on the dating apps and that—they've got you know fat retarded, you know, Down syndrome midgets. Right, they, they they have guys chasing them twenty four hours a day. You guys at home, all right? You're doing it. So I don't think it really matters. But I never chased them because I was just like, why? Why would I pay money, get pissed off, to chase some chick who doesn't even like me? <laughs> but hey, they're going to tell you how to get them because that's what we want to do here. Rack and quit like most guys do. Yeah. It's obvious to us that you're not a guy worth being with. On the contrary, if you don't crack under the pressure and you maintain your confidence and composure, we know. Then you end up in jail because they say you're a creep. That you're a guy worth talking to, that you're a high quality male we would enjoy being with. Once you persist through that initial stage of pressure, you'll see us open up, engage, and be very nice to you because now we have an idea of what kind of personality you have and the kind of man you are. All that initial bitchiness is just to separate the weak men from the strong ones. And it's simply a screener for confidence and composure, nothing else. Secret number two. I reckon Marnie's good at this wing girl stuff because she is the type of woman that we all make fun of. You know, this over the top, over entitled self worth delusion, just create, uh, creating, um, you know, a fan base of guys based on because she, she plays all these mind games herself. So she knows how to resonate with guys who have been through this stuff over and over again. And she knows all the little issues that guys deal with because she's done it to all these guys. Uh, why would you take advice from this chick? We want you to approach. So many guys miss out on chances to approach women because they think we're not gonna like it if they walked up to us and just started talking. They think that they may bother us somehow by coming up to us or that we might be creeped out. But in reality, if a girl is single, 99.99% of the time, she definitely wants to be approached. No Ooh. single girl goes out praying that she doesn't get approached by a guy. She wants to meet a guy who is cool and confident and knows how to talk to women. She's and has to be attractive, six foot three, jacked as well. She's not sitting there hoping that fucking Smeagol from Lord of the Rings comes up, you know, come up talking to her. No, she wants the, the hot sexy guy. Everybody, other, every other guy's a creep. Fuck off, they'll, they'll give you the side eye and uh, they don't want to know about you. Actually quite eager to meet such a high quality guy. I mean, why else do you think us girls put in so much thought and time into looking good when we go out. We know men are primarily attracted to our physical appearance and we want men to look at us, appreciate and approach us. In other words- That's it and I love this, I love this. Have you guys had this? This is sort of unrelated. So she just admitted that when women go out, and we all know this, but they always deny it, that they're dressing up to get the attraction of men. Now you guys have been in a relationship, married, whatever, and your woman wants to go out, uh, girls nights out. All right, she wants to go out and, and relive her youth with the girls. All right? And you're like, nah, you know, why are you doing that for or whatever? You start questioning it. Oh, you know, nah, we just want to go and just dance together or just sit there with my girls, you know. Nah, they dress right up. Put all the advertising signs on. They want guys to approach them. And they're oh, no, no, no. We dress up for each other because girls are highly critical of what other women wear, blah, blah, blah. It's all bullshit. We're on your side, even if it doesn't feel that way. Yes, sometimes we might put on a cold expressionless face that might signal to a man that we don't want to be bothered. <laughs> don't fall for that. We only do that because we don't want to seem needy and desperate for a man. We fear that if we seem too keen, we might be devalued by men and that we might seem like an easy target who's taken for granted. That's it. That's the reason girls might seem unapproachable on the outside. But you got to remember, on the inside, under all that facade, she wants to be approached. She's on your side. She wants you to talk to her. She's <laughs> really going to appreciate it if you do walk up to her and start a conversation. So don't stop yourself the next time you see a girl that you fancy. Secret number three. Oh, okay. Secret number three. Secret number two is go and approach girls who give you signs they don't want you to engage with them at all. I don't know. This PUA stuff, and even from a female, I mean, I don't really... 
buy into it. You know, it's just a recipe for disaster, really. If a girl doesn't have genuine interest in you from the bat, from off the bat, why, why fucking bother? Don't go chasing these hot fucking chicks. Waste of time. I did it a few times when I was younger and realized it was such a waste of effort. And then when you do get them into bed, they're dud roots. Fucking starfishes, you know? Just sitting there like a like a bag, like a sack full of yogurt or something. It doesn't move, you know? He was fucking... You know, like, why did I put all that effort and money and shit into it? <laughs> anyway, guys, about halfway through. So uh, if you're enjoying uh, the video today, please subscribe to the channel. Aiming for 10K subscribers. We're slowly creeping up to it. So thanks to you all who have joined to date. Um, and yeah, if you want to just support this channel, guys, just watch all the way through to the end. That's what helps me. And if you do want to further support, check out the Patreon link in the video description. We don't have a type, okay? This is a huge one. So many guys look at beautiful women and immediately start to think, she is out of my league, or she must only date rich guys, or she must only date tall guys, or something else like that. In simple words, they disqualify themselves before even talking to that girl. They know nothing about this girl because they think that attractive girls have a certain type of guy that they stick with time and time again. But let me tell you the actual truth. 90% of women do not have a fixed type. 90% really just plucked out yes, of the air. Some women will only date rich, tall, muscular, or some other fixed type of guy, but they're in the minority. Most of us are very flexible about the guys that we date. As long as the guy can show us he has a cool personality, as long as he can be confident oh, yeah. and talk yeah. to us in a oh, way that yeah. sparks attraction, we are 100% open to dating that guy. Now, it's true that many girls will say that they want a nice guy who cares about them, looks a certain way, does a certain type of work, and so on and so on. But in reality, when it comes to picking a partner, all those ideas go out the window. Oh, Why? so women are just sitting there. Um, all they want is just a nice guy to come up with a little um, heart-shaped box um, and some flowers. That's all they want, according to Marnie. You strip all that back, they're just innocent little creatures. No, nah, they see you next Tuesdays most of the time, especially these hot ones she's talking about. Yes, they are what they want guys who show status and money and a job and uh, dress nice and have a nice car. Bullshit, Marnie. All right, bullshit. Um, that's that's just the reality of it. Through my experience of twenty five years of monster hunting, they don't care about your. Some might, if they, you know, yeah. I'm not talking about all, but I'm talking about ninety percent of chicks are gonna put you into some sort of box. They're gonna have some sort of list of things they want. But you know, just go up and approach them guys, because Marnie said so. They're just waiting for you. They're waiting for you just to go up and talk. <laughs> but buy a course, buy a course guys. Why? Because attraction is emotional, not logical. If a guy can make us feel attracted to him through his behaviors and actions, we will not resist him. This is actually the main reason why you'll see many girls date guys who are abusive, unstable, and just purely toxic. Although these guys are not right for the girl in the logical sense, she'll date them because he can trigger feelings of attraction yes. within her. It's also the Yes, like she's telling themselves. Yes, so you, Mr. Boring Nice Guy, who just works in the accounting department or whatever, you're not going to set her off like that. So they, these are the exact girls that I'm talking about, the ones who have these toxic relationships because they want the highs and the lows and the, the roller coaster and the dopamine. Stay away from it, guys. It's a complete waste of time. I can tell you from lots of experience dealing with these sort of chicks. I don't know why men pursue these women to the end of the earth. A lot of them, even if they are attractive, they, owe, they, they are going to give you nothing in your life. All they're going to do is suck all the money out of your life. They're going to be like a husk floating in the air. You're going to turn into a skeleton. They're going to suck your life force out into the black hole. I call it the black hole, guys. She's going to take all your money. She's going to take all your joy, all your happiness, all your time. When she's had enough of you, you're fucking gone. <laughs> they're going to drop you on the ground and move on to the next dickhead who goes up to her. And you might say, oh, well, that's very uh, negative, G-Man. Nah, it's just what happens. I'm telling you that reason you'll see many super attractive girls date normal everyday dudes with average or below average looks a low-end job short height and whatnot so Come what on. does all of this mean for you well it means that the vast majority of girls are 100 percent open to dating you there are no barriers to entry it's you don't have to match a certain type to date her. it's not like a <laughs> college where you have to have a certain set of grades and test scores and whatnot to gain admission when pursuing a girl you want all you have to do is know how to approach her and trigger feelings of attraction as you talk to her
That's it. It's not complicated. And it's 100% doable. Oh, right? It's not complicated. Well, I think men have been trying to work out women for the entirety of the, you know, the history of mankind. They're trying to work it out. We can't work it out. We're still here. We're watching all these channels. We're talking about it on my channel. There's 5,000 other channels who do similar things across the world, different nationalities, different languages. You can't work them out. <laughs> They're not simple. Men are simple. We like uh, sex, we like to have some food, and we like some peace and quiet and respect. That's it, really. Give us that, you're golden. Women are simple. Jesus, money. Secret number four, we get self-conscious too. When a guy sees or talks to an attractive girl, nine out of 10 times, he tends to feel quite self-conscious. He has thoughts like, am I dressed well enough? Is my hairstyle good enough? Am I saying the right things? And other stuff like that. What he doesn't know is that we also have thoughts like that running through our heads. See, you might think that a beautiful girl is overvalidated by society. So she might be super confident and sure of herself all the time. Yeah. But in reality, most girls are not like that. You see, some rare ones might be, but the vast majority, aren't. No matter how attractive we are, we all have our own insecurities, just like you, especially when it comes to our appearance. And we get quite self-conscious because of it. We might think that our nose looks weird or our ears are too big or our breasts are too small or that we're not slim enough and so many other things that you can't even imagine. In fact, especially in today's age of social media, where men are exposed to perfectly edited photos of insanely hot models and celebrities, <laughs> it's yeah. even more challenging for us to feel totally secure about ourselves. We knowingly or unknowingly compare ourselves to those ultra high. We don't give a shit about those ultra high polished chicks. Most of us don't. We just want a normal girl. You're, you're comparing yourself to them. You're putting yourself under that pressure. We're not. We don't care. I don't like makeup. I don't like girls who wear makeup or have, uh, I don't care about tit jobs and uh, uh, Botox and shit. If a girl's got that Botox on her face, good luck. You know, I wouldn't even go anywhere near them. We don't care about it. You, you guys do this to yourself. They just don't understand men in any way. They want to cut themselves up. You know, they want to stitch themselves up and cut and fucking inject shit all over them. We don't want you to do that. <laughs> Unrealistic standards of beauty and feel like we might not match up to that. And that makes us feel quite insecure and self-conscious. So when you spot a girl you think is attractive or you're talking to her, remember that you're not in the same boat. If you feel self-conscious, insecure, or nervous, know that she probably is feeling the exact same way, even if she doesn't show it. Just reminding yourself of this fact will help you calm your nerves and talk to her in a more cool and comfortable way. Okay, secret number five, we lack good options. This might <laughs> seem quite counterintuitive at first, so listen carefully. Although most beautiful women get approached by thousands of yeah. guys and have a wide range of options to choose from, most of the guys that do approach us are not high quality men. Quite the opposite is actually true. See, 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 so hang on. Absolutely just destroyed her earlier point about just go up to her. You know, she's just waiting. It doesn't matter if you're uh, lower, but you know, you don't have a great job or if you're not tall or um, if you're not great looking, you know, just go and approach her. She's waiting for you. She'll be thrilled for you to go and approach her. Then she comes and says, she gets, they get approached by thousands of guys. And none of them are any good. <laughs> uh, they, need to, they need to check the scripts that they're writing, these people. Most guys that interact with us are needy and desperate and creepy or just plain intimidated. They try hard to impress us, they suck up to us, they compliment us all the time, buy us drinks, and basically put us on a pedestal. They think that by being super nice to us, they'll somehow make us like them. But no girl is attracted to men who behave that way. It's the exact opposite of what attracts us to a man. We want men who are confident and strong. Men who treat us like we're on the same level and who can interact with us in a cool and casual manner. But the truth is, there's a huge shortage of men like that, especially in the lives of extremely gorgeous women. And that means that competition you have when trying to attract hot women is extremely weak, even though you might not feel that way. Oh, what? <laughs> Oh, Marnie, Marnie, I know you're trying. I'll still take you down the cricket club. You don't need a paper bag. I don't mind the old Marnie. I don't care. She's 50. It's happening. I don't think they just don't understand what it's like um, for men. The trials and tribulations of men trying to get with women. No idea. Okay. 
you might think that a beautiful girl must have tons of awesome guys hitting on her daily. But in reality, most of the men out there who are trying to chat up beautiful women are actually destined to get rejected because of the way they tend to behave or, you know, they're jerks and players. This gives you a huge opportunity to stand out from the crowd. And if you want to make sure you separate yourself from that crowd and become a man, all women desperately crave a man who can get almost well, here, any woman he wants, a man who's practically rejection proof, oh, then you should click on the link on your screen oh. right now. <laughs> click the link in the description what a box grift. below and check out a special video that I made some time ago. This brief video reveals how you can transform yourself into the type of man all women dream of. How do people fall for this shit? How do these people have millions of followers and, and they're millionaires selling this bullshit? About a man who is loved and lusted after by the women other guys can only fantasize about. You see, in a world where most men don't know how to interact with gorgeous women and are destined to get rejected, this video can give you a massive advantage. It will guarantee that you climb leaps and bounds above the competition and are able to attract the hottest women without even breaking a sweat. So click oh, the link on yeah, your okay. screen or in the description box below and check out the video now. Trust me, you will find what I share super useful and I'll open up opportunity. Good on you, Marnie. Good on you, Marnie. Look, you know what? I've got to respect, you got to respect the grind here, but she is taking advantage of dudes. Like most guys who will be watching her are not going to get any results. They're not going to ever get a date with a fucking monster hunter chick, let alone a super hot, gorgeous woman with low effort. It's just feeding on the insecurities of men. <laughs> But, you know, that's why I made this channel. We, the male ones, the female ones, they're all trying to sell your courses and bullshit. They, they, you're the product, guys. So I'm going to tell you how it really is from experience. But, yep, Marnie, she's coming down to cricket. We're going to put on the VN on top of the grey nickels pads. It's going to be on. <laughs> all right, guys. Thanks for watching this far, if you have. We'll see you in the next one.